Hello, this is a tutorial on how to thread your sun and moon onto yarn. Let's first put our moon onto it. We will line it up where we know it's supposed to go because this one is a tried and true setup. And right now that we've found the appropriate spot, we will tie it on. I'll do the same with our sun. Thread it through. Let's go ahead and stretch this. This yarn actually likes to bounce. Okay, so that's the appropriate spot. Now you could be done at this point. It could really be that simple. Except there is another trick here. Um, notice, if you look closely, there we go, <laughs> that there's another knot right here. Actually, there's two knots here. Don't mind the crying child, that's my grandson. He's being taken care of by his mother. All right, th the purpose of those knots is to hold the matals that hold the earrings and it's actually pretty important because those earrings can be quite heavy on the ears and it's just a good idea to hook the matal onto this as opposed to hooking it onto your hair because it can pull your hair and it can also slip down your hair whereas if it hooks to these knots it should stay in place of course I'm just kind of guesstimating where this knot should be when you actually wear your matals you might want to adjust where the knot is so, you know, give yourself a little more time to get ready when you're wearing new jewelry for the first time so that you can make such adjustments. Okay, I'm doing a double knot. But yeah, the reason that these actually have two knots is because with different matals, it's appropriate to have a different location for a knot. All right, let's spread it out and see if it looks good. So yeah, put the knots at the appropriate place. They seem to be well placed, a little bit wider. But... Oh yeah, this way. Oh, it's important to note, the moon goes on the left side, the sun goes on the right. There you have it, bye bye.